number 79 refers to number 69 and that was about the seeds and they had a packet of 20 seeds and the probability that they were going to germinate was 85 percent what is the probability that exactly 17 seeds germinate now Sometimes it's kind of confusing. When do I use that mean and standard deviation, and when do I just use that binomial formula? Well, we're looking at 17 out of 20. So that's going to be the binomial probability. Um, and the way we set it up is we have 20 seeds. What is, well, all of the different combinations that you get to get 17 out of 20 and the probability that they're going to germinate, well, our success rate is 85%. And we want 17 of those to germinate. And then not germinating would be 15%. And we want 3 of those. And then we could do all those calculations. Now you could put it in the calculator. It's always good to write this down so we know that you know what you're talking about. And then I put it in the calculator. And this is going to be normal PDF. PDF gives you the exact number. So let me do that. And the answer is 0 0.24. 0 0.24, you have a 20, about a 24% chance that 17 of the 20 will germinate. I don't know if I, did I say normal CDF? It's, no, it's binomial PDF. Now in your black calculator, um, they don't have the menu set up nice. So we just separate it by commas. So it's going to be what? The trials and the probability and how many successes. So when you do binomial PDF in the black calculator, just separate those with commas. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Trials, probability, successes, all separated by commas. Well, let me write it down. So it would be 20 comma 0.85 comma 17. So I'm pretty sure that's how you put that in there those black calculators. Okay, let's look at the next question, which is letter B. Well, only 12 seeds actually germinated. Um, that seems kind of low, considering there's an 85% chance of germinating. Now, uh, are, they, are you suspicious? Well, let's figure it out. Probability that this means that 12 or less seeds. Well, this one, you would have to do this for all 12 situations from zero, actually 13, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 12, and do this formula all 13 times. Or we're going to do binomial CDF, and CDF tells us 12 or less, so we don't have to subtract it from 1 this time. Just binomial CDF. So let me do that and see what the answer is. And when I put it in the calculator, you get 0 0.005. So that's a very low probability that that would actually happen. So it's either a really bad pack of seeds that got damaged somehow, or the company is not really being truthful about their claim that 85% germinate. Okay, that is number 79. Okay, on 83, we have to look back at 81. It's not so bad. Let's see. Uh, you're polling people by telephone. You only have a 20% chance of reaching a live person. And you make 15 calls. Well, what would you expect to have happen? So, expected value, or the mean, of x is going to be the number in your sample times a probability, which is going to be 15 times 0 0.2, which gives you... 3. Now look at 83. Uh, if you don't lie, reach a live person, well in this case you would expect if reaching a live person is 3 out of the 15 calls, then not reaching a live person would be the rest. Well let's test it. So the expected value of not reaching a live person is the number in your sample times the probability. So 15 calls, and it's an 80% chance that you do not reach a live person, and that turns out to be 12. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, what about the standard deviation? Well, standard deviation looks like this. Um, 
you've got that the standard deviation of x would be the number in your sample times the probability times 1 minus the probability. And then you take the square root of the whole mess. So for x, the standard deviation of x would be the square root of, let's see, the number in your sample, which is 15, your probability, which was 0.2, reaching a live person, and not reaching a live person. Okay? So, um, and that works out to be, I think it's 1.55. So, if you think about it, standard deviation is y is going to be the same thing because we have 15 in our sample, right? This time we say, well, what's the probability that you don't reach a live person? And you got to subtract 1, so you get that. So you get the same thing, and it is 1.55. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Um, I don't want to make these videos too long, so... I'll make another video for the next couple of questions.